So we're going to get started. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amon and today I'm doing a mock test with Natasha. Yeah. Now this is the first time we're meeting yes. and your test is next week. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, nervous. I feel like I need to do a lot more practicing. <laughs> nervous. Now you've had about 30 hours of driving lessons yeah. and that's mostly been in a different area. Yes. Um, you know the area we're in today, but you've never really driven here? Not really, no. Okay. And you've never done a mock test before? No. And never done an actual test either? No. Okay. But you know what to expect? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to get straight into it then. Um, throughout the drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you in plenty of time. If I don't say anything, keep going straight. If you're not sure where you're going, you can always ask. We're going to do one manoeuvre and we may also carry out the emergency stop, similar to everything you've been practising with your instructor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now before we get started, I am going to ask you a quick question about your vehicle. Yeah. Could you tell me, how would you know if there was an issue... La, la, la. How would you know there was an issue with your power assisted steering? Power assisted steering. So I would first check it before I set off and see, like, see if there's any slight... If I get any feedback in terms of like slight movement and that should say that it's working correctly. So how would it feel if it was, wasn't working, sorry? If it wasn't working, it would feel like it was heavy. Okay, yeah, perfect. That's the key word with that okay. one. Okay. So for anyone that's new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below what you think and subscribe if you've not already and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload. So when you're ready, Natasha, let's get started. And then we're going to make a left turn at the end here. Nerves play a really big part when it comes to your driving tests and at this point Natasha is very nervous as we've only just started. She stays in first gear for a bit too long but this wasn't a major concern at this point as nobody's around us. And at the junction turn right please. Sure. As we get into the end of this road, Natasha does get a serious fault with response to road markings. As we're getting the last parked car on the left, she should have moved back into the left, but she stays in the middle and actually starts to position towards the right. <laughs> at this junction Natasha was a little bit cautious but doesn't get marked down as the man on the scooter behind us decided to go around us from the left at the exact time that she was about to move off and we're going to continue ahead at the traffic lights
at the end of the road sign that please. You could pull it and park up on the left just behind the grey car but leave enough space to move away about a sure. car's length don't worry about the yellow line on this occasion approaching the roundabout Natasha steered towards the right and then straightened up the wheel again. This caused the right indicator to click off. It's really important to reapply your signal especially when it comes to roundabouts. At the end turn right please. Sure thing. As we came out of this T-junction, Natasha gets marked down for control steering as she gets too close to the white car ahead. She needed to start steering a little bit earlier. But the examiner is going to want you to use your own initiative with that one. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So in the distance up there at the roundabout, I'd like you to take the fourth exit towards the north circular, the 406. It's the fourth exit, okay? Okay. It's just exit. after the bridge on the other side. So that way? Yeah. Okay. So exit. towards Wembley and Ealing. <clears throat> If you ever get yourself in the wrong lane, simply check your mirror's signal and if the roundabout is clear, you can switch lanes. Natasha was very cautious and being a bit hesitant in terms of switching.
and then we're going to turn left just in here. And then turn right into that car park, please. Sure. Can I go around her? Whatever you think is safe. Probably. Any place to park? <laughs> Confusing me. <laughs> okay, Natasha. What I'd like you to do now, okay? I'd like you to forward park into a space of your choice. You can park on the left or on the right. Entirely up to you. Just make sure you finish within the white lines of the parking bay. So okay. park in one space. Can I move forward a bit? Yeah, please? you can pick wherever you like. Okay, great, thank you. Now I'm going to go forward, so there's no zebra crossing in the way. And if there's cars here. Okay. Cool. Forward bay. Yes. How do I do that again? I stop. Signal. Do some checks, rest them here. Thank you. Let's reverse out whenever you're ready and we're going to exit the car park. Oh wait, can I just check if it's... Uh... Yeah. Yes. Is it in the not side? No. Let's reverse out when you're ready. It's all good. Okay. Sometimes I don't know if it's in on one side or in the other side.
and then we're just going to turn right and right again. Sure. Okay, at the end of this road, turn Oops. left, please. Okay. We have to go. That's <laughs> oh, clear. Was that for me? Maybe. On approach to open junctions, it's really important to scan the junction before you get to the end. That last junction was open, which is why the traffic behind was not expecting us to stop. And it was clear by the end, which is why we got hooted. Driving along this road, Natasha's up to a good speed and is regularly checking her mirrors while staying in the left-hand lane. I did ask Natasha to make a right turn in the distance. As soon as you know you're going to be making a right turn on a dual carriageway with two lanes, start checking your mirrors and indicate right so that you can position in good time. Okay, at the traffic lights, turn right please. Sure. Natasha does leave it quite late to switch lanes and it was quite tricky by the end. Just in the distance you'll see after the station. Okay, cool. Okay, that's fine. Straight. Oh, good for me, thank you. We were meant to turn back there, we've gone the wrong way, but um yeah. Oh, it's okay. I thought it was straight. Just take this road on the right, just here. This one, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. And then take the road on the right, please. This one. <laughs> How does he turn into a small corner? <laughs> oh, wow. 
And if you can put it in park up on the left over here, don't worry about the drives on this occasion, just in that space. No rush, no rush. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so shortly I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. Okay. Okay. So as you're driving along this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe and I'm going to give you this signal. Stop. Okay. When I give you that signal, I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible. Mm -hmm. But wait for my signal before you stop the car. Okay? Sounds good. I've okay. never done one of these before. <laughs> but it's just those two, so I can do that. So we're still doing the emergency stop okay. and wait for my signal, okay? Sure. I will make sure it's safe. I'm gonna get you to do that again and drive off when you're ready. And we're gonna turn left out of here. Sure. Can you go in there? And at the end, turn left, please. Sure. Natasha, when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to show me how you would de-miss the front windscreen. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure on this car. <laughs> you need to take your time with it. Yeah. 
think you can turn it off. That was so unnecessary for them to overtake. <laughs> look, I'm literally stopping right now. Oh look, we come together again. <laughs> So that's the one for, and then yep. you press it again. Okay, and that's the rate. Okay, I just at the roundabout turn right to the second exit. Second exit, right, right. Okay, got it. <laughs> Where that truck is going. Yeah. turn right immediately after so left and then that right oh, so left, left and then, then right, right. That road again. yeah got it And if you could pull in and park up on the left anywhere safe. Sure thing. Oh, that is a junction. Never mind. I'll go in front of the right car. You drive off when you're ready. Oh. And once we're off, uh, we're going to be making a right turn here, okay? Straight and then right. So we're just going to move off yeah. and make a right turn because we're quite close to the junction now. Okay. Make a right turn, okay. Okay, how are you feeling? Um, I how was, was like you? shaking throughout the entire thing. Like yeah? my foot was shaking so much on the clutch. I was just nervous, I think. You were really nervous, especially at the beginning. Yeah. You were really nervous. By the end, you calmed down a little bit. It could be better drive, but it's not the worst drive I've done, mm -hmm. but it could be definitely better. So unfortunately, it wouldn't be a pass. That's fair enough. Purely because you were just a little bit too cautious. Okay. <laughs> yeah? So right at the beginning, when we started, we were in first gear for like, a good two minutes and I think obviously you were nervous at this point and you remember when you said oh there's that man behind with the, with the two dogs yeah he was coming up behind us right and we're already at the junction at this point you were so cautious that he managed to get around the back of your car get to the junction and turn before us okay so we definitely could have gone mm -hmm. if he's managed to do all that right <laughs> so yeah definitely a little bit of hesitation there and plus when we came up to that junction did you realize you were about to go on the Oh yeah, I was on the wrong side. The wrong the side. Yeah. So that right there would have been a serious fault in itself because mm. you're heading the wrong way. And I, I couldn't risk you kind of going any further because it's one of those junctions where we can't see. Yeah, yeah. And somebody course. could have easily turned in. Yeah. Um, the drive 
definitely improved as we as you kind of went along when we were on that roundabout the one where we had to go to the 406 mm -hmm. you did happen to get into the wrong lane mm -hmm. but you realize you checked your mirrors and you're a little bit cautious but you managed to move over so you did well you are checking your mirrors so it's really nice but you've just got to be a bit more confident in yourself because yeah. when you checked your mirrors the van was a bit further back and you could have just gone but you're being a bit cautious going oh can i can i not and then you kind of held off held off and then you went Mm -hmm. So you are checking, but you're just being a bit too cautious with it all. Okay. Like even that lane change with that right, you know that traffic light right turn? Yeah, yeah. So you knew you were turning right, you're checking your mirrors, you're checking your mirrors, but just pop your signal on, let them know. And then even when you did put your signal on, the mm -hmm. van was giving way. And then you're like, oh no, I can't. And then he was like, okay, well I'm off then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, too, so you just need to be, a, yeah, you just need to be a bit more confident in yourself. Okay. As we went a bit further, there was that right turn at the roundabout on the steep hill. Um, yeah. Why did you go and stop? Roundabout on the steep hill. Oh, is that the one in your round yeah. here? Oh, right yeah, right near the um, Sainsbury's. Oh, right. I thought I was going to go too quickly and then I would not have control. So I thought I'd stop and change gear. Like, okay. I could have kept going and changed yeah. gear. I just slowed down. Yeah. Or we could have just, because that roundabout there, when we got there, it's completely clear to the yeah. right and there's traffic from your left you've just sat there and about four cars have come in and then you've gone okay the van behind us was quite patient but um yeah hesitation definitely on that one okay um you moved off really nicely even though it's quite a steep hill you managed to control your feet really mm -hmm. nice and in terms of that roundabout actually painted you fully went round it didn't you yeah <laughs> do i not need to do that no okay purely because okay if you have the space to go around, do so. But okay. if, you, if it's completely flat painted and it's quite an awkward going around, Fair enough. go over it slightly with the tyres on the right side. So my side stays off, your side's on. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, because some of the roundabouts, especially around here, the junctions are just so tight mm -hmm. that you can't actually try and do that because it just makes it awkward for what you're actually going into. Yeah? Um, so a bit more awareness and planning. So if you know you're coming up to a junction where, yes, I'm going to turn in there. Before you get there, don't just get there and stop. Just go, actually, can I go? Okay, yeah. Yeah? It's the confidence. I think it comes down to that. Yeah. Yeah. So what has your instructor said to you in the past with when you said you, that they prompted you a little bit? Um, I usually get the feedback that I go too quickly on those things. Okay. So that's why I think I'm trying to compensate for that so it's gone the opposite way now i was gonna go uh sorry i forgot about this junction right here you know when we entered on the end of this road mm -hmm. what happened on the entry i was i was in too quick i should have gone to first gear we definitely should yeah. have gone first it was gear. too small for second gear yeah especially when that car turned up because if we were just coming up on our own we're okay yeah yeah because yeah. if we kind of go over a little bit provided no one's there it's okay but as soon as you saw that the entrance is quite narrow we should have been thinking first gear yeah so yeah that that turn in was really fast Emergency stop, you've never done it? No, no. Okay. <laughs> well, it was good. Okay. You did kind of go clutch in straight away. Okay. Um, you always want to go brake clutch, and brake, clutch brake is more important than anything there. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is we did stop, and um, you did the right thing before moving off. You looked all around, blind spot check, no concerns with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, forward bay parking? Oh, yeah. How was that? I was a bit slow doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So you're in the middle, you've put your signal on, you've looked all around, it's clear, and then you kind of looked at the line, thought about what you're going to be doing, and you should have looked again. Okay, before doing that. Okay. Yeah. But once you've looked and you can see, okay, well, someone's coming, but I'm like right here, just get on with it. Yeah. And you kind of started, and then you went, oh, the van's there. And then you, he's just like, okay, come on, get on with oh, what right, you're doing. Okay. Oh, I thought I had to stop if there's another vehicle. But the, as we're, we're already kind of mid-manoeuvre, it's not like he was trying to go past you. Okay, okay. He was there, but he was waiting, and then you just sat there, and then he just sat there, and then you just sat there, and then eventually he went. Okay. So once you've started your manoeuvre, if the other car's not moving, then just get on with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. sure. But yeah, definitely um, good luck with your test. Let us know how it goes. Yes. But you just need to be confident in yourself yeah. and not to be too cautious. Okay, good. Yeah. So, thank you. It was really useful. I'm so glad that I was able to do this because I feel good that yeah. we did it. Yeah. Glad. That you know what you're doing. Just go for it. Be confident with it. All right, guys. That is the end of today's mock test video. Hopefully, that's been useful for you guys and definitely for you as well, Natasha. Definitely. Good luck with your test. Um, yes. So don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys for all your support. Yeah. <laughs>